Sheikh, nowadays it's a trend to gift uh, a prayer mat with names written on it on them. Is this permissible? These names are mostly written at the place of sajda. <coughs> there is nothing wrong in having a prayer mat with a name on it. But does it ha have any place in Islam in the sense that is the prayer mat as a piece of cloth something sacred? The answer is no. I can take a prayer mat and wash my car with it or wipe the floor with it. <gasps> Sheikh, no, there's no problem in it. It's just a piece of cloth. There's nothing sacred about it. Now, why do we use prayer mats? Oh, Sheikh, because to have our prayer accepted. Oh, this is an innovation. If you think that your prayer is not accepted without such a mat, then this is an innovation. If you're using it because the floor has a bad smell or it's dirty, or you're suspecting that there is an impurity, there's no problem with that. If the floor is too harsh for your skin and you need something softer, there's no problem in that at all. But as we see, for example, in many masjids, <clears throat> the full masjid is covered with carpets, very expensive. Yet the imam has a prayer mat on top of that. This is totally unacceptable. Why would you have a prayer mat for the imam? Just because he's an imam, he's a higher degree. This is an innovation. What's the difference between the spot you're praying on and the spot the followers are praying? It's the same thing. So why have an extra prayer mat? This is an innovation. Unfortunately, it's prevailing and it's spreading all over the Muslim world, but nobody thinks about it, unfortunately. So to conclude, to have a paper, uh, of a prayer mat with your name, my name, anyone's name on it has no significance. There's no problem in gifting it and Allah knows best.